क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑप्टिकल फाइबर वर्क्स बेस्ड ऑन डैश फिनोमिन टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ए फीचर ऑफ ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कम्युनिकेशन द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट द वेव लेंथ यूज इज फ्रॉम एट फिफ्टी नैनोमीटर टू वन सिक्स फाइव जीरो नैनोमीटर द स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट and it has highest bandwidth this statement is also correct it provides perfect isolation this is also correct so it is asked which is not a feature so the correct answer is option d it is not prone to interference and cross talk so this is the wrong statement regarding optical fiber communication the statement given is prone to interference and cross talk but optical fiber communication is not a prone to interference and cross talk Question number three: Total internal reflection happens if the incident angle is greater than the critical angle. If the incident angle is greater than the critical angle, total internal reflection happens. Question number four: In an optical fiber, the refractive index of cladding must be less than refractive index of core. Option C is the correct one. Question number five: Which of the following is considered as optical source in optical fiber communication? So LED and laser are the sources or the optical sources. So here the correct option is both B and C. And pin photodiode option A is a optical detector. Okay. Question number six. Dash type lasers are presently the major laser source of optical fiber communication. Option D, injection type lasers. Question number seven, permanent joint formed between two different optical fibers in the field is known as fiber splice. Option A. Question number eight, dash is considered as the light gathering capacity of an optical fiber. Numerical aperture. Question number nine: Which material is preferred for making core of an optical fiber cable? Glass and plastic can be used for manufacturing the core of optical fiber cable. So here the correct answer is option C. Question number ten: Dash is the maximum angle to the axis at which light may enter the fiber in order to be propagated. The correct answer is. acceptance angle it is the definition of acceptance angle next question number 11 which are the type of rays which are passing through an optical fiber meridional ray skew ray and axial ray all these are the types of ray which are passing through the optical fiber so here the correct answer is option d all of the above question number 12 match the correct prayer so the skew ray the correct pair is uh it takes a spiral path and never passes through center of the core and the meridional ray it crosses the axis of the fiber core and the axial ray travels along central axis of the fiber core so option 1 1 is mapped to b 2 is mapped to c and 3 is mapped to a so the correct option is option d 1b 2c and 3a so option d is the correct answer next the acceptance angle of skew ray is larger than the meridional ray question number 14 which type of ray will increase the losses in fiber skew ray increase the losses in fiber because it reflects multiple times in the core cladding interface it will introduce losses in the fiber so here the correct answer is option b question number 15 the different frequency bands used for ofc optical fiber communication and its wavelength ranges are given match the correct pairs the different bands given are o band e band s band c band and l band So the wavelength ranges are for O band the range is one two six zero to one three six zero nanometer. 
for e band 1360 to 1460 nanometer for s band 1460 to 1530 nanometer and for c band 1530 to 1560 also for l band 1565 to 1625 nanometer so the correct matching option is option a one is mapped to a two is mapped to b three c four d and five e so correct answer is option a so please pause the video to understand the various bands and its wavelength range. When the refractive index of the core is uniform throughout and experiences a certain changes at the cladding boundary, it's termed as step index fiber. So it is the definition of step index fiber. The when the refractive index of the core is uniform throughout and experiences certain changes at the cladding boundary, it is definition for step index fiber. Next, question number 17. The core diameter of single mod fiber will be in the order of 1 to 10 micrometer. Similarly, the core diameter for multi mod fiber will be in the order of 30 to 100 micrometer. In some textbooks, it's given as 50 to 100 micrometer. It's also true. Next, in which of the fiber modes dispersion is least? Dispersion is least in single mode fiber. Single mode step index fiber. Next question. In which of the fiber modes bandwidth is more? So if dispersion is less, then the bandwidth will be more. So in the previous question, we have learned that the dispersion is least for single mode step index. So the bandwidth is more for single mode step index. Next question. Which of the following is not true about multi-mode fibers? The correct answer is option D. Actually, the multi-mode fibers has large numerical aperture compared to single-mode fibers. It has more advantages in low bandwidth applications because the multi-mode fibers are having more dispersion losses, so its bandwidth is low. So it has more advantages in low bandwidth application. Also, due to large numerical aperture, it can be easily coupled to most of the optical sources. So, three statements, option A, option B, and option C are true about multi-mode fibers. But in fourth option, it is given that it has small numerical aperture compared to single-mode fibers. This statement is wrong. The numerical aperture of multi-mode fiber is larger than single-mode fibers. Next. The component which is used for detection of optical signal is it is photodiodes. It is a type of optical receiver. The component which is used for detection of optical signal that is photodiodes. 23. A device which reduces the intensity of light in optical fiber. It is optical attenuator. Next, which of the following is not a major characteristics of photo detector? Actually, the responsivity and quantum efficiency and dark currents are the features of photo detector. So the uh, correct option here is option D. Next question, which of the following is not true about EDFA? EDFA is erbium doped fiber amplifier. So correct option A is correct. Second one, it has emission spectrum in the 1550 nanometer range. This is also correct. It is a fiber based optical amplifier. This is also true. And option D is it is semiconductor based optical amplifier. So this option is not correct. The EDFA is a fiber based optical amplifier, not a semiconductor based optical amplifier. So that's all for today. Thank you.